guys, I have some excellent news. Today is July the 8th, and this month of July is the very first month that I'm actually, that I have a line with my company, and I have managed to pick up an extra two trips for the month. I had started out the month at 74 hours for all the trips that I got, and now I'm up to 105 hours by the end of the month. That's how much I'll be flying this month, so I'm excited to see how my body reacts to 105 flight hours. For Remember, that's for the whole month, so uh, I used to work like, you know, 50 hours a week uh, in retail, so anyways, I'm excited, and I'm excited to see what kind of paycheck I'm going to get, so anywho, um, today's the start of a three-day trip. It's a double Chicago layover. So I'll be in Chicago tonight and tomorrow night as well. They're very short layovers, like 15 hours. And um, I can't remember what the second night is, but um, yeah, they're, it's not a lot of time. You know how it is by the time you get to uh, through the airport into the hotel and checked in and you know, there's not too much time left. But yeah, uh, I'm doing my first extra trip today so excited can't wait to share with you guys at the end of the month exactly how it paid off or actually i'm not gonna get see the rewards monetarily until the middle of august um my august 15th check should have the reflected of what i did all of um july so i'll keep you posted and let you know how great it was <laughs> or if you know if it was too much on my body then you know I will let you know as well all right so I'm gonna get ready and you can see I am in my old apartment right now I'm visiting um there is Miss Gretel and I don't know if you can see Bubs is out there anyway all right, guys, I'll see you guys later.
I walked all that in these. Room tour. Here is the Ross room. Right now I am in Chicago. Oh, we got a separate tub over here and then a shower over here. Here's the little cook hook. Right now it's 1.30 in the morning. Let me give you a 360. We do have two beds today. They're two doubles. So, and that's an adjoining room right there. So I've got to make sure that's locked. But um, this is the room. I haven't been to Chicago in a while. Here's the other bed. And probably won't be able to see much outside, but uh, not much. Parking lot! Yay! Ow. Alrighty, guys. That is a room tour for Chicago. Good morning, guys. Today is uh, the 9th of July, and I am... Um... Oh, I'm in Chicago. I forget. <laughs> Anyways, I am going today. Well, I last night I came in from Vegas to Chicago. Um, I had about a 14-hour layover because we had some mechanical issues on the plane um, due to like um, air conditioning issues, and so we were a little bit late getting out of Vegas. And so, um, yeah. So my 15-hour layover turned into a 14-hour layover, but that's okay. I still got enough time. I woke up on my own uh, before my alarm clock actually went off. And so um, my makeup is done. I'm probably just going to keep my hair in a bun today and um, just go from there. Today on my lips, I am wearing ColourPop's Bianca and... On my eyes, I have Jaclyn Hill. I always carry the Jaclyn Hill palette with me now because it has like 40 different colors, and so pretty much you can do whatever you want with it. So uh, you can many, many looks, many looks. Uh, so, anyways, I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast here in Chicago. They don't have breakfast available for us unless you want to pay for it, uh, and there is no microwave in the room only a refrigerator so this is what i am gonna have for breakfast let me show you so i got a thing of ritz crackers peanut butter and a banana i'm just, just gonna put that on the crackers and that's breakfast today so well i still have a couple of minutes here in uh chicago i thought i would tell you guys a couple of my pet peeves and uh, one thing that really super duper annoys me. So, pet peeve number one <laughs> is why do people stand on the walkways, you know, the movable walkways, and just take up the whole space? If you're not going to move, please stand to the side so other people can walk. I mean, I understand in an escalator you're going up. Maybe you don't want to go up the stairs and you'll, you're standing, you know, still. 
but on those movable walkways that are meant to um, get you to where you're going to faster, when I see people just standing there and just going like, two miles a minute it drives me crazy <laughs> all right pet peeve number two why is it that as soon as you board the plane you must use the restroom immediately like i don't get it you've been in the waiting room in the gate area where there's bathrooms and there's a bathroom attendants that clean those bathrooms often and you don't use those but you come on the plane and immediately before we even take off as we're boarding you have to use the lavatories like I will do everything and anything that I can not to use the lavatories inside the plane so that mystifies my brain and talking about lavatories when I see someone walking in without shoes, I am like, oh, hell no. <laughs> that is disgusting, guys. Um, remember, the plane is moving and it's, you know, it's not, it's not the plane ride. It's not like this. It's like this. So we all miss the toilet at one point or another. That on the floor, it's not water. It's pee. So, um, if you're using the lavatories on the plane and you don't have your shoes on, you're actually standing in other people's pee. So, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you know, that's a, that was a little PSA. Uh, wear your shoes when you go to the lavatories. <laughs> and then, last but not least, out of all the things that I have to do, I think the one main thing that I just find offensive myself, this is my own personal opinion, is when you're being greeted as you're coming on the plane and I say welcome or hello or a how are you or just a friendly greeting and you don't even acknowledge me by at least nodding. I will accept a nod. I will accept a glance my way. I will accept good and just keep going. We don't have to have a conversation. But when somebody says, hi, say hello back. Uh, if somebody says, how are you doing? Just say fine and keep on going. Oh, I find that so rude and disrespectful that people don't even look at you in the eye anymore. Not everybody's like that, obviously, um, but a good percentage of the people that actually walk on the plane, when I greet each and every single one of them that's like, you know, looking at me, I will say hello. And even if they're not looking at me, I will still say hello. And uh, a lot of times, you know, they'll look up and say hi. But the, the few that just don't even acknowledge you or, or, or say anything back, that is offensive to me. All right, <laughs> I thought I'd make this light and uh, funny for you guys. Just a couple of my flat attendant pet peeves.
Okay, everyone. Uh, this was a double, a double um, Chicago turn. So I'm back in Chicago, but this room has a different layout. So I just wanted to do a quick little room tour because this one has the couch and a king size bed. Right now, it is 12.38, and this is what this room looks like. And that's my jacket over there. <laughs> and the wardrobe. But yeah, this is what this room layout is. So I thought I'd show it to you. It's a little bit different. Let's see what's outside. Oh, more parking lots. Oh, it says uh, Fashion Outlets of Chicago. I'll have to go there one of these days. Okay. That concludes the room tour. I have a 1.40 p.m. showtime today. So I have, what, 12, around 12 hours left to get some sleep. Good night. I've just untucked my bed all the way around because I can't be asphyxiated in there. So I always untuck the whole thing before I jump in. Thought I'd show you one more time. <laughs> so, I'll see you. Yeah, you're coming upstairs. Bye, bye.